Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the uh, Touch OSC uh, Renoise Live Remix tool. Uh, what you can see on your screen at the moment is the Max MSP patch, which is used to communicate between the incoming Touch OSC messages to reformat them and send them on to the Renoise application, and also to processing, which offers visual feedback, uh, which will be seen a little later in this video. So, if we move across, we can see we've got Cubase 5 ready to record uh, Renoise. This project consists of eight instruments and 16 different patterns. And the premise is that we can use Touch RSC to uh, make a live remix of this track and automate uh, the playback and various other parameters. This is being recorded over Jack Audio. And as you can see on the connections window there, we have a total of 16 outputs going from Renoise to Cubase, the output of Cubase going to the uh, sound card output. If we take a quick look now at the uh, processing application, uh, which is actually running on another computer uh, communicating over the network, uh, you can see that there are 16 pads to represent the sequences. The eight bars above them represent pan. The eight pink dots above them represent volume. Uh, we have a BPM counter in the top left, and the top two circles on the right represent looping and block looping. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you the actual Touch OSC application on this video, uh, but I will be posting images along with this link. So let's see how we go. I've got my uh, first generation iPod Touch in hand running Touch RSC and I'm just going to set Cubase to start recording and we'll bring Renoise back up and I'll press start. As you can see the first uh, pattern is now playing through and we're recording that. So I'll stop talking for a minute and have a little play. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to uh, jump between different patterns, uh, loop a pattern, uh, set the block loop feature, which is a very good feature uh, of Renoise, and also automate various other features via pan and volume automation and mute controls. And as you would have also seen, the processing application uh, will feed back uh, the information that it's receiving from the touch rsc controller um, and it's hoped that in the future this will be improved to be a more artistic visual feedback which uh, gives a far more ambient representation rather than the very formulaic design at the moment um, so yeah that's it basically that's a quick demonstration uh, more details can be found on my website www.forgeaudiodesigns.com um, and I'm hoping to have some form of demo up of this uh, for you to download sometime in the near future. OK, so uh, thanks for your time and any questions, just send an email my way. Thanks. <laughs>